Hey guys, this is part two of choosing a color palette. If you haven't seen part one, you can find the link in the description to the video. Um, in the first video, I focused more on the color wheel and the combinations that are found there. And in this video, I'm going to focus more on easier ways to find a color palette, kind of ways that just do it for you instead of you picking it yourself. First up is a site called CSS Drive, and you can find any image that has colors that you like, upload it, and then CSS creates a palette based on the colors that are in that image. The colors aren't exact, and you're going to have every single color from the image, but it creates like a simplified palette that's close enough for you to figure out any of the missing colors. Something cool that CSS does is it allows you to save the palette as Photoshop swatches, so that makes things way easier. Um, so here I'm uploading a picture that I found on Tumblr that has a bunch of colors that I like. I press get the palette, and here it created a bunch of swatches based on the picture I uploaded. Since I use Paint Tool Sci, I usually just screen cap the palettes instead of saving them as um, Photoshop swatches. And then I usually open up the palettes and the reference image in Sci and arrange the windows using the uh, eyedropper to choose the colors that I want to use. The next way I like to choose color palettes is a site called Coolors, Colors.co. Uh, anyway, however it's said, <laughs> the site generates random palettes by you pressing the space bar. A really cool feature of it is if you like a color, you can press the lock on the color and it'll keep that color as it keeps searching the random palettes and it'll find colors that match with the one color that you locked. Um, another thing that you can do is adjust the shade of the color, and it will always match because a shade is just a color mixed with black, like I said in the first video. Um, you can also pick colors from an image, just like with CSS, but the site doesn't do it as well, unless you're just looking for a really, really simplified version of the color palette. Um, this site's great if you're looking for inspiration. It's kind of like the digital version of the um, three marker challenge. So I might just do a random color palette challenge in a video if that's something that you guys might like. Another great way to find color palettes or inspo in general is getting um, an inspo tumbler, creating an inspiration tumbler. And in mine, I like to collect GIFs and images that have nice colors or poses, hairstyles, just random things that I like. And just looking through the archive, it like, it'll give you inspiration. If you ever don't know what to draw, just looking through there, that could help you get some great ideas and colors too, seeing all the colors. Um, the last way is kind of weird. I like to take color from film. So I've always liked the lighting that's used in music videos, so sometimes I'll just take screen caps of parts of music videos that have cool colors that I like. So here I'm sucking out the colors from a music video by him, Join Me in Death. It has a lot of nice cool colors, so slurp some colors out of that. <laughs> anyway, hopefully all the ways that I've showed you in part one and part two will help you find a way that works for you in choosing colors. I uh, hope that helps. Thanks for watching!